My name is Jared Nathaniel Johnson Winfield. Nico Edwards, baby. Well, my birth certificate says William Shea Harrison, uh, but I go by my middle name Shea because my dad is William Harry Harrison, and uh, his whole life he's gone by his middle name Harry. How do you know Luke? I know Luke because he is the boyfriend of my best friend Fonda. Uh, I met Luke um, about eight years ago uh, at, at Gay Pride in San Francisco, actually. <laughs> Wait, was that actually the first time we met? That was the first time I met Luke. Wait, we met too? Yeah. And what's your connection to Luke? I am his half-brother, uh, older brother by 15 years. Okay, okay. How's your guys' relationship been? 15 year difference is pretty huge. I mean, that, that has to be tough. Yeah, well, I mean, I got to raise him as a baby in my mid-teens, which prepared, it's hard. Me, prepared, me, prepared <laughs> me for not having kids now. Yeah. <laughs> no, facts, facts. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Like, there's a moment in time where I realized, like, look, he's my friend and my equal, and we're, we can talk like we're siblings. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that um uh, I met Luke in 2016 through my childhood best friend Nico Edwards. I've known Nico Edwards since I was five years old. And as soon as I graduated college, I was living at home with my parents in El Cerrito and my buddy Nico kept saying, Bro, you gotta meet these guys, Juana Luke. You gotta meet these guys, Juana Luke, come out and party with me. Don't get me wrong, I like to party, but I'm also a homebody. So finally, I'm like, all right, I'll come meet you out in Berkeley. We're standing in line at Kipps, and I meet Jawan and Luke, finally. I met Jawan and Luke. Luke being a, was it, Marin Academy playing basketball with Nico. Jawan playing at uh, J-Rock, playing at Berkeley High. And then both of them going to play in Colorado College. We met that night, and we partied, I'm not lying, what was it, J Rock? Seven Friday and Saturdays in a row. I think without we, a break, maybe eight. Yeah, it was literally like three it was months. one night. In it Ber was three months. It was one night in Berkeley, and then it was one night in either Oakland, San Francisco, or Walnut Creek. Yeah, every weekend for three months, I think. Oh, excuse me, the nut, not Walnut Creek. <laughs> uh, so that's how I met Luke. And I didn't know Luke. Luke and I met in middle school, hoping against each other. Um, Who was better? Luke, for sure. No question. I was trash. <laughs> I was a high IQ, low skill player. No. Oh. <laughs> what? What they try to throw you in the post? I was damn near drink mom, bro. Dr Except for you were without a lot of the without skill. the physical. Yeah. I, I got you. I got you. I got you. Uh, but yeah, I know Luke. Uh, we met in seventh grade. We hooped against each other in seventh grade and eighth grade, and then we went to high school. What's your least favorite thing about Luke? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I like to cook, and I think that his diet is very rigid. So maybe we can bring him out of that and like get him, give him some cream sauce here and there. <laughs> but some I would say the fact that he likes his meat cooked, like not at all. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so if Luke, gets, if Luke gets any any type of meat, chicken, steak, whatever, he wants that stuff pink, like. Like pink, pink, like star, like starburst pink. Like that's probably the worst thing about the guy. What's your least favorite thing about Luke? His ability to eat a can of tuna with no salt or pepper or nothing, brother. Man, man will literally wake up in the morning and open a can of tuna and eat that shit with a spoon, bro. It's crazy. I mean, it can be considered a compliment. His unwavering opinion. Uh huh. And if you don't have the same opinion of him, I mean, of whatever it is you're talking about, it's really annoying. Yeah. He doesn't change what he thinks and he will let you know. <laughs> Wait. My least favorite thing about Luke is how hot he is. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing is watching him in that period where. He gets out of college and he realizes, okay, wait, I am him. <laughs> yeah. But he doesn't know how to handle him. And then watching him figure out who he thinks him is was an amazing experience. Yeah. What's the most annoying habit? Of who? Of, of Luke. Of Luke. Yeah. If Luke was going to order from Chick-fil-A, he would probably order, it would definitely be grilled chicken something. He's the first person I've ever met who ordered grilled chicken nuggets. Uh, so... That was probably 
the weirdest thing I've, I've heard. So he probably ordered like grilled chicken nuggets with like... No cheese. Either a grilled chicken sandwich like a fucking weirdo or a salad or some shit. Luke is, uh, Luke is anti-carbs for the most part. It would be a grilled chicken breast with everything but wrapped in lettuce. Maybe like two of them, no fries, no sauce, no nothing. I'm up for boring as hell, bro. 